hey everyone thanks for joining me at my channel this is a quick tutorial to show you how i install my crochet braids this is the free trust water wave and is by far my most favorite crochet braiding pattern um it didn't take me that long to do this time so i'm glad for that but um i've installed this hair three times before and I just didn't get around to doing a video so this time I wanted to come and just show you exactly how I install it because I don't quite install it the way I do my other crochet braids so you guys stay tuned for the video here it is I'll see you in the next one I use three packs of water wave in the color number 1b33 some wrap lotion a pair of sharp scissors a latch hook and hair clips This is what the hair looks like. It costs $5.99 at the beauty supply store and I really wanted a number two but I couldn't find one and a little color won't hurt so I just went ahead and got what they had. And my wrap lotion is by Motions. That's just what I always use but you can use whatever you want to use. This is my braid pattern. I have a part right here and for this particular hair I like to have a part on the side because I feel like it just falls better that way. And the cornrows go down the back and I braided the ends and tucked them in then sewed them down so that they don't come loose um, as I wear my hair. This is the hair already taken out of the package and when I cut it, I cut it under the rubber band. All right, and this just goes in the trash. When I'm done cutting it, I get my motions wrap lotion and I put a good amount on it. And this just helps it get more manageable because if it doesn't have the wrap lotion, it tangles. Now I know it looks like I'm putting a lot, but it won't make any flaking or anything, so you don't really have to worry about it. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the 33 right there. It's really subtle, and there's some more in the back. So as you guys can see I'm almost done installing all I have left to do is that little piece and I will show you how I install that so take a piece of hair like that and divide it and I take really small sections as you can see and when I install I just put my latch hook through, hook the hair, close it, pull it through, and then I loop it around about two or three times and secure it like that. And I'll show you guys one more time. Take my small section of hair. Put my latch hook through, close it, pull it through, and I loop it around two or three times. Alright, so I'm going to finish installing and then I'll come back and show you how I cut it. I am all done installing it, and when I cut it, I just start by cutting off the long ends like you can see right here and I cut in a downward motion just like that. When 
When I finished cutting off all the loose and long ends, I just cut this into like a side bang. And what I do is I just pull some of this hair forward. Like that. And I kind of hold it and you have to be really careful because you could touch your eye. And I just cut it like that. The idea is to make sure it doesn't cover up my eye so if it's you know you can see it's covering my eye I keep cutting Okay, so this is pretty much how I wear it and I love 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 this hair It's definitely my favorite um, What I have left is this and I will keep it the next time I do it I'll just get two packs and use this and that should be enough. I don't use the three packs, but I find that when I Get just two packs. It's never enough and I like it pretty big so this is what it looks like. Let me show you guys the back. Okay, so that's it about my crochet braids. To maintain them at night, I just wear a bonnet or a scarf. It doesn't really matter. And in the morning, of course, I just fluff them out and I'm ready to go. I do use a braid sheen spray. That kind of helps them last longer. And that's about it. Thanks for watching you guys. I really appreciate you and the support that you've given me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.